हेलो अंकिता हेलो सर यस आई एम हियर वेयर आर यू नाउ सर आई एम एट माय होम राइट नाउ व्हिच प्लेस मॉर्निंग तीन सौ क्या तीन सौ क्या आसाम यू आर इन तीन सौ क्या आसाम ओके सो आसाम भी माइट हैव बिकम वेरी कोल्ड नाउ इट इज सर नाउ इट इज अ वेदर हैज चेंज इट इज नॉट टू कोल्ड ओके सो ओके सो इन आसाम व्हिच प्लेस डू यू बिलोंग टू तीन सौ क्या आई जेंटी यस सर टू तीन सौ क्या Yes. So I I will give two minutes time. If please tell your uh, Miss and uh, Miss Vegetation. No, what are the other subjects you like? Please okay. take. Yeah. Sir, my name is Ankita Kukan. I completed my graduation from Cotton University, Guwahati. After that, I completed my masters from Dibruga University in the year two thousand twenty one. And in two thousand twenty two, I have uh, in the December month, I have enrolled in the PhD course in Dibruga University. my domain is structural geology and i have completed my uh, course work in the month of september and i am right now waiting for my funding to continue my work okay dibrugod university who is teaching uh, sir i am i am ah uh, yes sir i am under tapas kumar gosami sir okay good so you have got a good guide you got a good guide as well as good subjects which which area you are working Sir, Shillong Plate Two in the Jawa near Jawa area. I am planning to work. I have not started to, uh, working, but I am planning okay. to work. Okay, very good. Ah, uh, so your dissertation topic was also in structural geology. Yes, sir, in structural geology. Oh, good, good, very good. So, ah, uh, let us begin with some structural questions. You know, ah, uh, so how do you distinguish a shear zone and a fault? Sir, shear zone is a, a particular region where the amount of straining is much more as compared to the nearby area. But when we consider a fault zone, a fault is a kind of a fracture in which a relative dis displacement is visible. But more specific answer is you should give faults are brittle structures. Yes, sir. Rock breaks. Yes, That sir. is why you see displacement. You know? yes. But shear zone is a ductile structure. Ductile. It flows. Okay. Yes. Yes sir. Now what are different rocks that are present in a shear zone and a fault? Sir if uh, sir if we come to the uh, brittle region then it will be uh, cataclysmic then the microbreccia but if we go to the ductile region there will be a myelonite. Okay. Okay. You get myelonite. Very good. Now how to distinguish a strike slip shear zone from a thrust shear zone? So near the thrust zone, there are certain kind of stretching lineations, stretching lineations which are produced by the minerals. On the basis of the orientation of those particular uh, lineations, we can determine a strike slip uh, shear zone or a, a normal shear zone. Uh, strike slip. How the lineations exist with respect to the strike? Sir, so in the strike slip, it will be parallel to the strike. But in case of normal, it will be a perpendicular to the strike. Very good, very good. So you know porphyroclast. Porphyroclast, yes, sir. You know name few of them. What are different types of porphyroclast? So there are mental porphyroclast, there are mortar porphyroclast, uh, there are skeletal porphyroclast. And what else? Uh, sorry, sir. I could recall this three name right now. Sigma, delta. Uh, yes, sir. Shear sense indicators. Yes. You should tell that also. Okay, sir. Because they are much more, you know, useful for your study. Okay. 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 okay sir. Very good. Now let us go to uh, tectonics part. You know, yes. some tectonics part. Now, India has gone through, you know. This tectonic uh, organization or disorganization right from Archean time, because we have Archean terrain, Proterozoic terrain, then uh, Phanerozoic terrain. In brief, can you tell me how Archean tectonics is different from the Proterozoic tectonics to uh, Phanerozoic tectonics? Yes, sir. Sir, so Archean tectonics in during the Archean tectonics, plate tectonics was not that vibrant as in case of Proterozoic. in the archean time the crust which was present actually was very very thin due to which we, we used to get uh, rocks like cometatites in the crustal region but when we moved to the proterozoic part 
there there is a vertical staggeration which has occurred resulting in the more thickness of the crust okay mobile beds developed during protrusion time mobile beds yes sir sir first uh, first is the stable part craton after that comes the sedimentary deposits okay. together they from silt then okay. when the sedimentary deposits were not deformed they formed the uh, form the plate from sequence when very they good. were deformed they formed the mobile belt very good very good so how is the life pattern from protrusion to phenology what type what type of life were existing during protrusion what type of lives appeared in phenology sir in phenology we see the development of the uh, development of the reptiles amphibians and the diversification of the mammals as well to the very recent time and sir in case of the proterozoic sir uh, sir we have uh, cyanobacteria blue, uh, yes. blue green algae yes unicellular organisms you know yes sir why there is no uh, growth of uh, multicellular or animals like phenologic during proterozoic sorry sir i I During protrusive time, protrusive time, you told we have only unicellular organisms, algae, bacteria, this type of things, you know. But during phenologic time, you got animals, sea animals, land animals. Why this distinction came? What change happened in tectonics or in the atmosphere or in the terrestrial conditions? This difference occurred. It's a gradual increase in more amount of oxygen and the complication in the environment uh, resulted in the evolution of the organisms yes you are correct but this should be very specific so oxygen I... was there oxygen was there oxygen was there in the protrusion as well as in phenology but there was no ozone okay there was no ozone in the atmosphere that was creating problem for the bigger animals to develop or the land animals to develop during protrusive time there was no ozone but in phenologic time ozone created okay. similarly suppose i ask you what is the atmospheric condition from archean to protrusive what changes has happened so in the protrusive great oxidation event has occurred the Very increase good. of oxygen but in the okay. archean there was complete lack of oxygen yeah even if oxygen was there it was in the sea yes. sea within the water like you know stromatolites there were then so they yes, also sir. require oxygen so whatever oxygen was there in the sea it was there it was not the atmosphere so during oxygenation event it came to the atmosphere so ye oxygenation great oxygen event kab hua when it happened so it is in the boundary of the archean in the proterozoic can be considered from uh, about uh, the 2.0 uh, Million years. Boundary is not 2.0, 2.4. 2.4, sorry. Yeah, 2.5 is the boundary, but 2.4 happened. Great okay. oxygenation event. Okay. Yes. Yeah, very good. I think you are quite well prepared. Now, few more questions I will ask from petrology. Yes, sir. Now, uh, how to distinguish uh, uh, olivine and pyroxene in the field? Very basic questions I am asking. Uh, sir, if we uh, minutely see the pyroxene, we are basically going to get a uh, two sets of cleavages, uh, almost at ninety degree. But we have to see it with the lenses. Yeah. Uh, and uh, sir, in olivine, sir, olivine undergo um, certain kind of alteration. Means they are more uh, viable to the weathering. So th there will be fibrous. There may be fibrous texture. But what about your cleavages? Other things. So in the uh, in the olivine, there is no distinct cleavages that can be seen. There is no cleavage, no distinct distinct. Nay, there is. No. There is no cleavage. Sir. There is no cleavage. Just like what it has no cleavage. There is no cleavage. Pyroxene has two sets of cleavages. Okay. Cleavages. Yes, sir. So similarly, I ask what quartz and feldspar. How do you differ in the hand specimen and microscope? Uh, so in the quartz, we will get andulous extinction. In the okay. fasper, we are going to get uh, most probably we are going to get twinning. And uh, in case of the fasper, so in the hand specimen, it is sometimes pinkish in color. 
and the quad uh, quads will be uh, so pearly white. Okay, transparent white. Okay. Yes. What is the undulose extinction you told? The undulose extinction generally occur when the particular mineral undergo high amount of straining. As as a, result, uh, as a result, their crystallographic directions get differ from point to point. Okay, very good. So, if there is no deformation, there won't be any undulose extinction? Uh, sir, if they are not subjected to deformation, they are not, there will be no undulose, sir, as per... Uh, yes. My idea, sir, there will be there no There won't be any extinction. So, ondulose extinction is not a character of quartz. Yes. But it is definitely a character of quartz. Yes. But suppose there is an igneous rock, you know, a granite which is not deformed. So, quartz will not show any ondulose extinction. It will be plain extinction. Okay? Okay. Yes, sir. Now, suppose I ask few things like this, you know, what is Bionis reaction series? You know, define what is Bionis reaction series. Yes, sir. So, Bionis reaction series comprises of two worms. One is in continuous and one is the discontinuous, uh, discontinuous series. So, it basically represents how the uh, magma chamber is crystallizing uh, in respect to the pressure temperature condition. For example, the first to crystallize is the olivine. After that, it is pyroxene, then amphibole then biotite, then muscovite, then k per, and last is the quartz. But the same series, if we take for the purpose of weathering, then it will be completely reversed. Like quartz is more resistant to weathering, whereas olivine is less resistant to weathering. Oh, great. Okay. Okay, very good. So, I think I have finished my task of interviewing you. What I am finding, you are a very good student. Thank you. You are a very good student. Uh, so, you have remember still the things you know very well. Uh, okay. Still then since you are going for an interview of this type, still then keep in touch with the books. Yes. Keep touch in books. And okay. I I wish that you will be able to qualify. But in the interview, what I am finding, you know, some of my students from here, uh, they had gone for uh, this interview. They are asking many things from political activities now in uh, mm -hmm. country as well as some uh, sports activity, they are asking. So, I do not know how far you are interested in these things, but no harm, people do not know. But like, you know, the what is the major activity in the in India, it is going on, political activity, like election. Yes, Which are the states they are going for election. So, you should know. Okay. So, first of all, secondly, recently concluded a cricket match, you know, they are uh, inter, uh, ICC uh, yes, World Cricket Match. Who won the match and who are in the semi final? Who is the cricket captain of Australia? Who was the cricket captain of India? These things you try to just browse through your TV or your newspaper, you know. Okay. Otherwise, you are absolutely sound. You are absolutely sound okay. and you will be able to qualify. And be a little smiling, you know. Yes. <laughs> a little bit yes. smiling now. Yes. Because everybody wants a pleasing personality in the. <laughs> Yes. In GSI. GSI is a hard, hard job. Definitely, you must be prepared for that. But same time also, we have to keep ourselves in good humor. Okay? Okay. Best of luck. Best Thank of luck. Yeah. Tell my regards to your guide. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. okay. Anything you want to ask? No. Fine. Sir, sir, should I go uh, to the dissertation and my PhD more thoroughly? Like, uh, PhD yeah, yeah, please go through. Because since you have done a good work, you know, both MSc and PhD, you are continuing the same so people may ask, people yes, may sir. ask from your area. Okay, sir. So better you keep in mind those things, you know, thoroughly. Okay. okay? Thank you, sir. Thank okay. you, sir. Okay. 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 Good. Good. Okay. Bye.